Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh, I'm Jimmy Jr. Hope you guys are doing good. Just Jimmy. Just Jimmy. All right, so guys, we're super excited for this video. We tried to get it done last week, had a little bit of family emergency there. So now we're super excited to show you a new product that was sent to us that we finally get a chance to play with. If you've seen some of our other videos, you know we love this kind of stuff. We use it all the time. Yeah, so, so devices that help you cook your food. These are lunch eases. And what makes this one a little bit better than some of the other ones? Right, this is all you need. This is it. It's battery powered, you don't have to plug you it notice, in. Yeah, no plugs, super simple. Well, geez, how'd you get it out so fast? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you guys are probably just hearing some ASMR plastic. They come in a variety of colors, you'll see. These are just the outside carrying things. Yep. What makes this cool is the top part. You could put like silverware, other stuff in there. Here's your handle. Or stuff that you didn't really want to get warm. So if you were just trying to put a sandwich in there or something, you'd be good too. Here's uh, the charger. Mm -hmm. This will charge up the, uh, the battery in here. Pretty cool in that section. It looks like it, well, that's just another section. That's pretty cool. Well, I also like too that they included a carrying handle. Like that's really awesome. You can clip right on here and carry it just like a lunchbox. And the size is pretty good. Boom, this is the unit itself. Yeah. You got your uh, instructions, helpful tips, and stuff like that. <laughs> this is all it is, really, guys. Look at that. A couple different colors for you to see. The Weight difference. wise, what would you say? Two two pounds or so? Two three, maybe? I don't know. We'd have to weigh these, but they're not they're not bad at all. I mean, they're. Well, we're we're going to be doing a lot more. of testing later in this video, guys. Uh, temperatures. We could do some weights, yeah. cook times, things like that, because. I know you guys are gonna have a lot of questions with that. But this is the intro to this. Yeah, so we have uh, two different colors. You can see they have, I think a total of what, four colors? Yeah, yeah well, they have like these tops come in a bunch of different colors and there's like four colors for the bottom piece. Yeah, so we'll give you guys a close up here in a little bit, but you actually do have an LED screen. There's four buttons on here, which is really cool. And you could set this on a timer, like you put your food in here and then you say in two hours you want it to turn on, it'll turn on and heat your food. Yeah. Your charge port in the back. Yeah, see that? This, is this awesome. one was happened to be the kit, so it comes with a couple of diff couple the metal containers to put the food in. A couple on each, so that's pretty cool there. Oh, this is nice. I'll move this out of the way. This is nice. Look at it. I know you didn't even see this, but like this plastic piece come plastic piece kind of ricochets back. Oh, it's like on And a, you have your dish. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh yeah, see this is the dish. And it comes with other ones if you just if you want to prep meals. Put them in here, put it in the fridge, just pop it in here. Yeah, so as we're saying, these things are really convenient because a lot of the other alternatives that you have, you have to plug in either to your car, into a house. They take a few hours and then, I mean, that leaves a big group of people that want to go camping and don't have access to power. Uh, I know on some job sites that I did have doing construction, I did have a few places where didn't really have power. I could have just took it and let my meal cook for a few hours. So this right here gives me that freedom of like, I have a battery, I can take this anywhere, I can go for a hike, attach it onto a bag, and I'm gonna have myself a nice hot lunch. Yeah, this has a, it says an 8,000 milliamp hour battery, it's a lithium battery. So, I mean, I'm not sure how long time that'll give us. Well, well again, we're gonna, we're gonna test all that, but yeah. I, I'm curious to see the temperature this bugger gets to. I know. You can see the little plate in there? Yep. The little hot plate. All right, guys, so we got everything laid out here. We're really excited to get to test these. So we're gonna hop to some test. We have, I know we have temperature test plans, yeah. uh, cook time, charge time, uh, just a whole sporadic thing. Cause this is really, this is really great for us because I mean, as you see some of our previous videos, we love Hot Logic. Uh, yeah, we like, did, uh, the Road Pro, we did a test on that also, the Hot Logic, we did yeah. a test on a bunch of them. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're great. It's just yeah. there's certain applications. I know, great at least choice. now, we have another video, guys, coming with the electric bikes. Oh, you're going to love that. You're, you're going to love that one. But when you go on an electric bike ride, it'd be nice to be able to take something here where I can still have a nice hot meal where I wouldn't be connected to, oh. you know, an outlet or a cigarette lighter. Yeah. So this is this is really changing the game. I know a lot of you guys are really going to like this. So I'm excited. Yeah, so let's, let's get to testing these buggers out and cooking some food in them. All right, guys, so this is kind of the close-up so you guys can actually see this. It's a really cool device, a nice LED screen, four buttons, so pretty basic. And then you get to the back side, you do have the charger port, so pretty simplistic. Uh, opening it, it's just flop these up, 
and then you can pull your tray out. Uh, these are metal, so when you do pull this out, if it's hot, you're, you should eat it inside of this. You shouldn't be taking it out, but just make sure you don't grab the metal. It'll be hot. So you have your tray here. I'll open that up for you guys in a second. You'll see the heating pad there. Awesome. It is more centralized in the center, so. Yeah, so I keep your, like. Keep proteins and stuff. Proteins. That, that's what the instruction said, too. Yeah. Just keep your proteins, your lighter stuff like rice and vegetables on top. And then, doop. Here's your metal tray. These are cool too because they're metal. They're about three and a half cups. Yep, 850 milliliters. Yep, 304 stainless. And these also seem to be watertight, like it closes and it has the seal around it. Seal, yeah. So you should be good in case you have so a little. Should be good, yeah, I, I should be good, especially if we're biking around. So now that we have this set, let's do the, the setup here real quick. So this is uh, first power on since we charged it. So we'll hit the power. Starting up. Okay, adjust clock. I'm upside down, so this might take some work. Uh, what do we got here? 410. So we'll get to PM. Doop, doop. What one makes it go over? Is it this one? Uh -huh. Boom. 4, 1, 4, 10. Down to cancel, up to confirm. That's good. There we go. And you'll see in the corner here, it is 401 PM. 410. Oh, 410, my bad. Yeah, upside, upside down, down. yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little crazy. Um, what's really cool about this, which we'll show you guys in the app a little bit later, you can rename it so it doesn't have to say lunchies. You could put your own little custom thing and then it says bon appetit. You can have it say something else when your food's done, which would be pretty cool. So, oh, uh, so you can set meal time. This is, this is where I really like this technology here. So it knows the time I can set my meal time. So I could tell it like, I want to have my food ready by 7 p.m. tonight. So if I actually set the time, I can set it for 7 p.m., it'll start cooking at five o'clock. It'll, 5 as long as you keep it on. So the screen will dim out, you'll see that the power is on and you're good to go. And when I say this is really cool because it's interactive with that Bluetooth app. So if you keep this on, you can Bluetooth to your, uh, Bluetooth to your phone and be able to adjust everything. So you see how the, the screen's out now, but we do have the power green. So it's still on and awake. So if we set our time for our meal, it'll still do everything by itself. So you don't have to really worry about it. Okay, and then heat now, pretty self-explanatory. If we just went down to that, it would just start the heating process if we just readily wanted to That's do probably it. probably what we'll use on our bike right there because we'll just have it cooked right yeah, away. Right yeah, right when we put this in here, we'll just heat it now because I don't think we're gonna need two hours. Probably not for what we're doing. Yeah, it's, it's nothing frozen, you know. Um, we have the adjust clock. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory just to change your clock. And then your max heat settings, if you were to go inside of this, you could adjust the temperature. So right now it's 220 degrees. If you didn't want it to get that hot for any reason, you could lower it, save those settings, and it'll also save for the next time you use it, which is really nice. You don't have to keep adjusting it each and every time. Because right, not everything needs to be that hot, so you can lower it. Yeah. You pr probably if you lower your battery last a little longer too. Yeah. So if you're just heating something we have some, up. Yeah, just something small or something that wasn't already frozen or cold. Right. Like soup, that comes from the cupboard, so it should be pretty quick. You see full battery charge. You can see the Bluetooth symbol there. Yep. Yep. Boom. There we go. So we can hook this up to the app. I will show you guys a screen recording on my phone going through the app when we first connect it so you can kind of get an idea. That is actually really cool technology so you don't have to actually have sit here and actively do it. You can just have this in its little carrying case. Uh, as long as the power was on, you could just set it from your phone and forget it and then your food's ready whenever you want. And as I was saying earlier, you have the battery there. When you are charging it, you do see a plus sign by the side of the battery so you do know it's charging. So you can cook this while it's charging too, which is really nice. So if you do have access to power and you don't want to completely drain your battery for the next time you wanted to use it, you can plug it right in, uh, plug it while you're cooking and you'll be good to go. It charges a little bit slower when it's cooking. I'm assuming that has to do with the extra heat of it doing it and actually using the power. But still, it's fantastic because if you do have power, you can keep charging it, use it for the next time. If you're going off grid or biking like we are, we don't have a plug, we can still have a nice hot meal when we get there. So that's basically the simplistic rundown. So uh, we can get ready to throw some. Yeah, let's throw some your soup. I'll throw my chicken sausages in there and we'll go on our ride. Yeah, and then we, as he was saying, we're just going to do the heat now for this. Um, when I show you guys the screen recording, I'll clip it into the video so you can kind of get an idea of how to set up in the app as soon as you download it on your phone. So it's almost like an instruction is exactly what you'd be seeing if you did it yourself. 
All right, guys. So before we get prepping the food, I wanted to give you a rundown of the Lunch Ease app. This is very straightforward, but it's really a nice feature for this device. So I have my physical Lunch Ease device powered on. And then as you see, I have the app right up here. I'm just gonna go to the top left corner and hit press to connect. Um, yours might say Lunch Ease when you're first setting it up, but I renamed my device to Jimmy 2 Tech. So I'm just gonna click there and boom. Uh, do you want to set up a pin? No thanks. So right now we're connected to it, which is pretty cool. Now actually operating this app is very simple. Top right corner, just hit your three lines, and then you have all your settings here. Um, so some of the main ones you're probably going to use is set heat timer, which you know you can set what time you want the food to start. So you can kind of plan in advance and it'll start cooking for you and be done at that time you select. Uh, heat now. I'll show you guys real quick. Heat now. I can press that. I heard it click on in the device. It shows me the temperature of the hot plate. And as you see, it's going up. And you'd be all set here. So I'm just going to go to turn off. Stop heating. And I just heard it powered down. Screen, screen. So we're good. Then we have uh, write a message, which this is a message that would show up on your device. Bam. Confirm. And then rename the device, as you already saw mine was Jimmy 2 Tech. I'll put a quick picture up on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, set max heat. This is a really cool feature, so you can actually set the temperature that it can go to. So if you know you don't need 220 degrees and you're just trying to slowly heat something up, you can just adjust it. And you press OK and it's set. And that's pretty much the basics of this app. It's straightforward, real cool luxury, great thing to have for this. So now you don't have to actually take your lunchies out of the pail you can just turn it on and you know seal everything up and then you can do everything remotely from your app so so uh first meal we're going to be doing uh we have some creamy chicken and dumpling soup nothing too fancy about this just had it right in the cupboard figured soup was a good test i really like soup so good lunch slash dinner i mean it is four o'clock so <laughs> it's more of a dinner so we're going to open this right up i'm just going to take this off and then we're gonna open this, pour it right in here. Uh, we did clean these out, just in full disclosure. We didn't just, you know, use them. Let's see if I can get this baby open. This one's pretty close. I will assist, you can get the spoon. Oh, all right, awesome. All right, fantastic. So we're just gonna open this up the rest of the way. Set this off to the side. Give it a quick pour. Uh, everything kind of came out the way I wanted. Get the rest out of there. So as we were saying earlier, since this is room temperature, we're not going to need the full two hours. So I bet you this will heat up pretty quick at 220. I bet by a quick bike ride, and we'll probably be, this will be steaming hot. So this is a good test for it. So we got everything in here. Everything's out of the can. Mmm, delicioso. Going to close this up. Boom. Do you want to prep yours first or should we just no, start, set, start, start it right on. now? Yep. Show how to get that going. All right, so I'm just gonna hit the, well, it was already on like we were saying. I'm just gonna go deal. down to, well I, well, I guess it is liquid sealed. Yes, it is liquid tight, you can test that. Right here, I'm to heat now. I'm just gonna hit the enter button, which right here. It's gonna ask us up to continue. So it's just confirming that we want to start up to continue. Boom, here we go. I heard the click and I can see, I see the little, uh, light under the little heat. tells you it's heating up. What's the temp it's coming up to? And the time has started, so it gives you, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is, a, like, I like this one compared to some of the other ones we use just because I feel like I have more information. Because I know, like, for example, with the Hot Logic, you plug in, it's set time, and that's it. It's until you unplug it. This one, it's going to cook it for a certain amount of time. You can actually actively read the temperature, which I enjoy. That's why I said they're all very specific. With yeah, for whatever you need. We use that constantly. That one, you just set it, forget it, for as long as you keep it plugged in. Yeah, it but burn anything. I have a feeling this is going to be a, a, a new favorite. For the faster ones. We'll, well, because we do a lot of traveling and outdoor stuff. So yeah. to actually, and we do go off grid quite a bit. Right, so this will work for that. So this one's cooking. So we're going to hop over to our next meal. Let me just open this up. One cheese number, dose. Just gonna open this up. 
Boom, perfect. We have some alfresco roasted pepper and asiago. Delicious. Do you want to pour a little bit of water into this yeah, to kind of? Water so it keeps it like Do we even have any water yeah, with it's this? In the bag. I think I oh, did we? Oh, it's hiding in the back there. All right, Aquafina. That way, because it's pre-cooked sausage already, you're just eating it through. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water in here. I'll add more once I put it in there. Just, it's like steaming it, kind of like them vendors of the city. Yeah, because you're cooking on a you're cooking on a hot plate, so you gotta keep in mind that like if this was just sitting there on the metal, you know, one part's really gonna be cooking. GoPro, stop recording. What? No, we're making videos. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So, uh, sorry, we had a little distraction there. We had a, a viewer <laughs> yeah. that said hello. So, shout out to you. Um, all right, so back to it. We have the water in here. We're just going to throw. You want two in here? Yeah, both one? of them, baby. All right, yeah. That's this what's would... cool about these lunch bells, too. You put your bread and stuff on the top, your condiments. Yeah. Uh, for you, you could put your spoon and whatever you want to eat with it. Napkin? More like a paper bag. All right. So I have these two in here. We just have a little bit of water, as we said. It just coats the bottom. Nothing too fancy. Just help it cook. So I'm going to put this in here. Make sure that's sealed good. Perfect. You know, what we should do is, like, I want to see if any water leaks out. All right. That's a nice good test. Nice and tight. That's yeah, good. So, just so you know, when I when we said that this was watertight, we, we just tested it. So no water's leaking out, so you don't really have to worry about it. Because when I was first moving that one, I was a little hesitant to turn the screen <laughs> yeah. up to you guys because I wasn't exactly sure. But this is water. This it didn't come out, so. So we're feeling pretty good about it. So here we are. We're going to power on. I don't know if you guys are going to get some glare, but starting up. Boom, perfect. We're just going to go down to heat now. Enter. Press up to confirm. Boom, I heard the click, it started, and we're all set. So now we have both of these ready. We're just gonna throw them into uh, the containers. They do tell you that keeping it in the container, you know, will help you hold the heat, help the food cook, just, you know, cause you're keeping everything tightly insulated. So, I mean, this is good for us anyway, cause they're convenient to travel. You have the handle, and then you also have the strap that you can yeah, put you onto there. Yeah, you got the strap there. on the other one if yeah, you want that to one once I... carry it over your shoulder. Yep, boom, we'll throw this one into here. Perfect. Keep these in the front. And carrying handle is right here. So you actually could just throw it on your shoulder if you want. And you're all set. So uh, we can just attach these onto our bikes and... Uh, Head out. Yeah, awesome. So we'll clean this up and we'll be back with you guys shortly. Hey everybody, we are back. We took, what is it, three We're miles? We're not back. Well, We're halfway from, through our ride. I guess, yeah, halfway through our ride. Um, we took like four miles? Four, four, four miles on some e-bikes, which is pretty enjoyable. We'll have some pictures on socials of uh, some of the uh, lunch ease and maybe some stuff on the side. You'll probably yeah. see some of that in the video anyway. Some Good nice day for the ride, it was nice and cool too. Yeah, it wasn't too hot today. So we're gonna see what these look like. We'll see what the timer says on as far as how long they've been in there. Yeah. Oh, right on my top, I need to go in the other one. Oh. So I'm just gonna take it out of here so I can see the screen. Mm. I smell my own. Yeah, I smell it. These chicken rots, oh my, or, uh, Do you want to start with yours first? Yes. We'll just do one at a time, because I kind of want to- Doesn't matter, right? Get in the process. Let me press this button. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. Now you're gonna have to get closer. Since it's 179 degrees. So that 179 it's saying is the plate's temperature. So the food will usually be a few degrees below that. What time you got? Um, it is 5.46. And we started them at uh, 4.24. So what is that? Yeah, a little hour, 10 minutes. Hour or something. Or something. So that's that's pretty awesome. Again, these would these would do two hours. We probably more than had enough time, but we weren't cooking anything uh, that oh, was frozen. It's or only down two battery bars. I mean, it's still got four more on there. That's, oh, really? Yeah, so. Yeah, not too bad. Shucks. See what this looks like. Uh, mine says it is. Oh man. 162. Oh, so what was your temp? 179. Mine's going up. It was at 165. It like dropped a few when I took it out of here. Well, yours is also soup. soup. Yeah, mine's a liquid, so I'm sure it's gonna change. Yeah, it's, it's look at the heating tray's up to 170 now. Okay, awesome. Oh yeah. Chicken oh, broth. This right here. This right chicken here. Chicken sausage. I call them chicken broths, but. I should have brought a knife. Oh yeah, I got some steam, baby. Got your spoon? Yep. 
brought it with Just us. Kind of cut this open, see what it's like. One thing I do want to say that I really like with the uh, the top having that space that we kind of found out earlier, the top up here. Right. Yeah, that's been an hour and a half. It's heated right through. That's good. That's nice. Uh, the top here is wide enough for you to fit like a bottle of water, yeah. which we, we thought was cool. I mean, you do have. I got some bread for my. my you do have sausage. side pockets. Some mayo. Truff. Truff mayo. Truffle mayo. Oh, yeah, I, I love that. Get, oh yeah. Um, you do have little things on the side, so you could put salt, pepper. You might be able to fit a water bottle in there, maybe a small one, but the fact that you do have that top space is absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna mix up the soup. I'm pretty excited. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, like I said, you go on a bike ride, you have a hot lunch. Yeah, it's good. And we didn't even full two hours. No, what, what's they cool about this better. too is you don't have, you could save some money because you don't have to go out to eat or something, you know? Yeah, nobody, everybody thinks like, oh, you know, got to buy that and meal prep and stuff. It's a little baby extra time, but the amount of money you actually save by doing that is You're already at the store. Crazy. Pick up some quick meal preps. Or even leftovers, man. You make something with leftovers, eat that for a couple days. Well, I'm going to take a few more bites, and then we can just about close this video up, finish eating, and then head, head back. on back. This will not be the only lunchies video you see from us. We do want to do a little bit more. Like testing, checking. Oh, that's a cool bird. Checking some stuff out. So, yeah. If it goes, those of you like the ASMR, <laughs> you'll like this video. Yeah, we uh, want to do like we did some with some of our other videos. We we do like to go and test quite a bit. Like, how long you're actually going to get out of a battery charge? How long does it take to charge? You know. Well, what actually can you cook in here? You know, how, I know they say don't, you know, if you don't have to use frozen, don't, but you know, some of them frozen pre-packed meals, like, what is that, Bertoli? Yeah, I could imagine, yeah, that, those kind of meals that are frozen, that, you know, are kind of loosely frozen, that yeah. come out, I, I mean, we'll, again, we'll get to test. We'll try maybe some, like a raw chicken breast right from the freezer, see yeah. if that duration will actually get up to temp, because I'm pretty intrigued that this gets up to 220, like it's regular temperature. So I really or maybe think- maybe a, a cutlet because they're a little thinner. Yeah, again, there's gonna be so much more that you guys uh, see from us, do a little bit more testing, different kinds of foods, because these are perfect for biking like we're doing, kayaking. Yeah, it's, it's just, Yeah. well, I don't know if I'd want it in the water. You keep it safe. I'll put it in a floaty, it'll be fine. You can it'll see it. Onto it. That's what it shows right now. Hope you guys can see that. Battery bar has, I think, six bars. It's only down two, so. Yeah, so it's really, nice. it's really cool. I mean, it's slight, it's it's heavier than you would think a normal box, but it's not it's not terrible. It really yeah, that's what I said. That it was light. I mean, when we were biking, he strapped his onto the bike. I just had mine right over my shoulder because I put that uh, shoulder carrier on. So it was it wasn't bad. Barely even knew it was there. Good. So I think that brings this video to a close for now. Um, I know I definitely want to thank Lunchies for uh, sending us these products. Uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, this this was great. Um, we are into this kind of stuff, totally. Definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see what else they'll come out with in the future, you know? Exactly. Because this is pretty And they have a range of products, guys. Just head to their website. Uh, I'll throw a link down below, uh, right in the description. Feel free to check it out. Uh, definitely pick something up if this seems like something you would enjoy. And they, they, they have the other ones this size that don't have the screen and everything, the kind of step-down version. be a little cheaper if you don't want all the fancy. Yeah, exactly. It, it, um, yeah, I, I think that pretty much sums it up so yeah, again you, you look for more from us you'll definitely see more on these for well sure. yeah it, this is the kind of product that this will take us you know two three videos to really get through everything we want to get as through. we're playing with them some more. food tests you know different temperature tests things like battery yeah so um if you guys enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up button we appreciate it any comments drop them down below we get to every comment um don't forget the bell hit that bell subscribe that if you haven't already we definitely appreciate the support we put a lot of time into these videos i keep hearing something about this algorithm so we want to make sure we get to that <laughs> so it helps us out we hear know. something about this algorithm yeah guys. i don't know exactly how it works help but it's us out. so i think until next time guys try something new do a little bit of everything Okay.